In this week's video tech tip, we're going to look at SOLIDWORKS simulation and show you how you can reuse your simulation setup to make SOLIDWORKS simulation work for you. Now, consider the typical workflow when you're using SOLIDWORKS simulation. It's to use it every step of the way throughout the design process simultaneously with your CAD designing. So you're using some CAD modeling and then verifying it in SOLIDWORKS simulation over and over and over again iterating through the design process, helping you really hone in on the best design. Now, what that means is it's good to reuse your simulation setup so you can save time throughout this process. So in this week's video tech tip, let's show you how you can do that. So here's an example. I have my study set up with parts, connections, fixtures, loads, mesh, and here's my results. Okay, great. Now I want to maybe run a different iteration of this. Now, instead of just changing the setup here, I'm going to create a new study and reuse that because it's nice to have different studies I can always go back to here in the SOLIDWORKS simulation environment. The studies are organized by tabs at the bottom here, just like in Microsoft Excel, so something we're all familiar with. So to do a new study, and completely copy everything in one click, or in other words, duplicating this study, I right click and I hit copy study. Now, when I do this, I have the option to actually change the study type. Okay, so I'm gonna call this my duplicate study 2.0. And it can be a static, which is what I have, or other types of advanced studies like nonlinear, linear dynamic, or even a topology study. So now I have my new study and everything is in here, 100% copied over. And now I can go ahead and make some changes. Or I have another way that I could do this. I'll just do a new study and this is gonna be my study three, for example. Say okay to that, okay. Now I'm dealing with a blank study, but I can go back to any other study and then using the control select, pick whatever it is I want to copy, one thing or everything. With them selected, click and drag and drop it onto the study. It doesn't have to be the similar study types. They could be dissimilar studies. So one way to copy something from a static study to a frequency study is to click and select everything and drag and drop it on. You wait until the symbol changes, drop it right on top of the tab. And now I have essentially copied everything. It could be one thing or everything by using the control select method. Or completely duplicating the study through the right click and hitting copy study. So those are the two ways that you can make SOLIDWORKS simulation work for you so you can work faster and get your designs out the door quicker.